What up, guys? Today we're gonna to talk to you about database reactivation. Now, this is the feature in Go High Level that allow you to actually upload your entire database, either your database or your client database, categorize them properly into the software by tags and filter them to hyper target the right people and mass send out email or SMS to them with the right offer and right message. Now, this is a great offer not just for your agency in terms of prospecting, but also a great offer for your client, for example, dentist, chiropractor, real estate agent. Now, the reason why that is a great offer because it offer a minimal risk for both party, quick result, like you will get result in the next 24 to 48 hour. And when I say low risk, it means that it the action, the process itself involves no platform such as Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Google, anything like that. So there's no ad spend, no risk of getting account banned, and the result is really, really quick. So we're going to show you exactly on how to do that. So if anyone who have not known me yet, my name is Vico Kang from Vicolize Online Consultant. I run a multi six figure marketing agency that serves real estate agents in Australia and New Zealand to get more listing and be more profitable in their business. At the same time, you know, we also an official Go High Level partner. We have actually onboarded 200 plus agency owner onto the software at this time of recording. So if you haven't got an account yet, make sure that you actually click the link on the description to make sure that you are actually using our affiliate link to get an account to get that bonus extension when it comes to the free trial so you're going to get a 30-day free trial when you're actually using our affiliate link high level itself is originally offer a 14-day free trial but because we are an official partner with them you are actually getting the benefit of the 30-day extension when it comes to the free trial as well as qualify for our bonus gift and our snapshot if you want to know more detail about the bonus gift and the help and the support the snapshot that we actually offer for new user as you know aka new affiliate that join high level through us make sure that you also check the link in the description as well without further ado let's get Get onto the video. Okay, so for this video, we're gonna be talking about contacts. First off, I'm gonna show you how you can add contacts from your own database, or if you're using a different platform before, this is what you need to do. First off, make sure that you have downloaded all your email lists, including their information from the old um, platform that you're using, or if you're just starting out, you can just simply create a spreadsheet where it has all the information such as the name, phone number, emails and make sure that you add another column that says tags so that we can organize it a little bit better at a later time now once you have that ready make sure that you download it in a csv format okay now once that's all set all you need to do is just go to your contact section and as you can see here you have the import contacts but some of you if you are not able to see these types of icons on your contacts page make sure that you reach out to your admin so that they can add you the admin access because uh, user access won't be able to see this type of uh, configurations only admin access so again get access first so that you can see this but if you already have that then make sure to just click import contacts and then you can upload a file from here or you can also just drag your sample contacts or your your database I'm just gonna hit next make sure that the information are properly mapped out you can change the import name to however you want you can also click on advanced and see what else is there but it's not necessary and then once done just hit submit now it says that your file is being processed it's just gonna take a while especially for those that has a huge email list like thousands and thousands of emails make sure that you're gonna be patient to wait for it but in my case since it's just four contacts then it's fast now you have added your contacts so this is how you're gonna see it next how can you create a smart list so basically a smart list is just a group of emails in a category so most of the time smart list is being used to group contacts such as your inquiries such as your unsubscribes or any other category that is applicable so that it's gonna be easier for you to access to send an email blast if you're doing newsletters or SMS so that's how it's gonna work so for example in this case I wanted to create a smart list where I wanted to track those contacts that have recently inquired on my service. Like for example, these are all my contacts. 
Now what I wanted to do is I'm gonna hover to the more filters right here and I'm gonna filter them out based on the tag because I have an automation or based on what I did on the spreadsheet I have created a tag that these are the list or the emails that I have recently acquired and I just wanted to now I wanted to filter them out using tag so I'm just gonna select here the lead inquiry tag now I'm gonna hit apply and for some reason it's not letting me because of the chat widget now it's just gonna show me all of those contacts that has a lead inquiry tag on it I'll select them all and then once selected I'm gonna be hitting uh, save a smart list on the bottom part of the screen and I'm just gonna name it inquiries Okay, and then I'm gonna save it. Now that I have saved it, it showed up by your inquiries. I can just close it. So it means that if I wanted to, for some reason, it's not letting me because of the chat widget by clicking on the all section. But if I just wanted to check like all those inquiries, I can do so by clicking the inquiries tab. It's gonna show me all those contacts that have inquired on my service. And there's a lot more things that I can do from here, which is we're gonna talk about in the next steps. Okay, so now how can you send an email or SMS directly from the contact section. I understand that there are also another way of sending emails and con and SMS to our contacts but this is applicable if you're doing like newsletters or just wanted to to send out you know a one-time email. Before anything else make sure that you have created a pre-built email or SMS so that on the next steps all you need to do is just select that email template. So in this case I wanted to send out a newsletter to my inquiry list I'm gonna select them all and then you can see here the robot icon that says add to campaigner workflow I'm gonna select that I'm gonna click proceed in this case I don't have a pre-built one so if you do have one on your end make sure to just select the right campaign or workflow and then as you can see here you have three options to either just add all at once add all at a scheduled time and add in trip mode so here's a recommendation if you have a list of hundred below it's fine for you to add it all at once but if you do have more than that I suggest that you do it in drip mode why because we don't want our emails to be ending up on our customers or clients spam or junk folder or even the promotion folder we always wanted to land on their inbox so this is the best practice to do again if it's a hundred and below feel free to add it all at once but if it's more than that I highly suggest that you do in drip mode but before we proceed to that we also have an option to add all at the scheduled time so if you are planning out your newsletter week by week or at any given time just make sure that you select the add all at scheduled time and then action is just a description for this newsletter we can name it like newsletter week one Start on, select the date and the time that you wanted to send out this email. Again, going back to the drip mode, select the, the time that you wanted it to start, date and time, batch quantities. In this case, I wanted to send like, let's say, I'm gonna select here first. Every hour, I wanted to send out 100. I mean, I wanted to send out this email to 100 people. In my case, I, I don't have 100 contacts, that's fine. It's just for tutorial purposes, but I'm just gonna send this newsletter to 100 people every one hour. So let's say you do have 3,000 lists. So it means that it's gonna take you, uh, I don't know how to do the math, but yeah, you can compute on that. <laughs> but yeah, uh, 100 per hour. So if you have 3,000 lists, just do the, the computation on that and that's how it's gonna work. Next, you also have the option to send it on different days. You can just select, let's say, I just wanted to send Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. I can unselect the rest of the, the days of the week. I can also just process it between hours if, like for example, I don't want to be sending out newsletters at, let's say, 12 in the morning. So I will just make sure to select, you know, the appropriate time here, which is to start from, let's say, 9 a.m 
p.m. and then I can end at 5 p.m. Once that that's done, just click add to campaign and workflow and that's it. Now, last but not the least for this tutorial is that how can you restore accidentally deleted content? Now, it's easier for you because all you need to do is just hover to the restore page and then just find the contact that you wanted to restore. Select that. You can select one or more and then on the right side of the screen, click on the restore button and then it's just going to ask you to confirm and just hover back to smart list, wait for a while and it's going to show up in your contacts page. So that's it for this video.